Hello guys, Alina this side from PT Tutorials Aussie Group. Today with me is Siddhant Mishra. How are you Siddhant? I'm good Alina, how are you? Great, I'm thank you for asking me. Okay Siddhant, so you have achieved a score of 88 overall with the help of the PT Tutorials mock test. So can you just tell me that how the PT Tutorial mock test helped you? Yeah, sure. So the PT uh, tutorial mock tests were uh, really helpful in my journey. Uh, I was able to get an understanding okay. of the real exam and how the uh, test day would look like. It gave me a real time insights about in terms of the structure and so on so about how the uh, valuation would be done because I also subscribe to the valuation packages. So yeah, it did help me. Okay. So your score is in speaking, it's 90. In listening, if I would say it is 90 again. In writing as well, it is 86. And in reading, it is 84. Sure. So what was the main important uh, module in which you were able to grab more score because of the mock test? I would say it was speaking. Uh, speaking, I wasn't doing so well uh, uh, when I was doing the mock test. So I would uh, change uh, my accent and work around it basically optimize how i'm speaking okay. as there's a lot of importance given to the native uh, way of speaking so i think as i saw okay. the uh, as i you know since the mock tests are so well designed so it changes as you keep getting better so i i could see that my scores improving and i would stick to what was working out okay great and can you just tell me that was it your first attempt and it was as you are saying that it was in terms of AI scoring pattern it was similar just like PT exams so how was the difference between the real exams and the mock test what was the main difference between them or if what was the similarity as well so as such I was not in surprise, so, not in, surprise. Uh, in terms okay. of uh, that you know mm. that this is not something I was not exposed to so I was pretty sure and confident that you know how, what I can expect so as I saw the exam uh, progress, so I could feel that, yeah, this is exactly how I had planned over uh, during my preparation. So the it did did actually come out to be as I had, you know, prepared for. Yeah. Okay. okay, perfect. So can we say that the mock tests were designed in a way of real time exam scenario? Only? Absolutely. Right, it was the same exact way, like in terms of timings, in terms of modules, in terms of task, number of questions, everything it was designed in the same exact totally. way, right? Okay, yep, perfect. And apart from that thing, I would like to ask that as it was your first attempt, yeah. so after the mock test, what you realized that after each and every mock test, how were you analyzing? Because you haven't taken any of the coaching. Just with the mock test, you have secured 88. So okay. after each and every mock test, what were you doing from the back end? Like you were analyzing your exams in terms of time management. You were analyzing in terms of answer giving. What was your, uh, you know, personal uh, preparations or analysis? So I would uh, actually go uh, check out some videos that are available. Uh, then I would uh, try to improvise on my content. Initially, it was uh -huh. uh, not very clear what I was missing out on. Then as I progress, I would work on the content, I would work on the time, uh, prepare, uh, you know, the small minute details that actually helps uh, other people who have achieved better scores and kind of put them into a mix and implement it in my next mock test. And I, I would see the scores coming out to be as, uh, as, as I changed. So, yeah. Okay, great, great. So was it like 88 you were securing in the mock test as well or you were securing somewhere near to the mock test only? Like in mock test you were securing 84, 85? I was, uh, I have, I have the mock tests where uh, I would say they were really uh, uh, for, a, for a challenge for me because uh, I would not go beyond 80, 74, 75. I yeah. started off with 60 or 63 in my initial attempt then as okay. i progress this over a period of one and a half months as i would say and okay. that is where uh, i think it was really good because when i i went for the exam i actually didn't expect uh, this to be uh, 88 uh, the mock tests are actually good because they keep you in you know they make you humble they mm -hmm. make you yeah. to work much more harder 
and yeah so i think that was uh, really good because uh, if i would have known a bigger score i would have expected like if i would have got some 85 86 in my mock test i would have expected a bigger uh, higher score in my exam so i think that helped me definitely so you were preparing for the worst thing worst exactly. exam you can have in the uh, bare know, minimum the... this much i can score only yeah. definitely definitely so you were preparing for the worst and you just got the best thing yeah yeah, right? yeah, yeah. so uh, the mock test were keeping you at a base level that you would be having the advanced level of mock test so in exams if you are having mediocre or yeah. basic level of exam as well so you can secure a score very nicely and that happened as well totally so what was the gap between giving the mock test like you were giving uh, one mock test in a week or twice as your preparation is up around 1.5 months as you just say so what is the gap of doing the mock test and doing the preparations or just analyzing the strategies well, i think it's uh, the same strategy as any online exam even if you would go do, do like a gmat or gre also so i would start off uh, first with like couple of days i would give a gap give one exam then prepare the content but then i started moving uh, giving one test every single day prepare in the morning for the content given the uh, evening with the most in uh, you know uh, unproductive hours how much i am able to score so uh, sometime late evenings uh, you know the, <laughs> when you are actually done for the day that is where i would uh, give exams and then again i would walk in the morning for some hours one hour or something and this i think it's 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 very doable if you have a structured plan it definitely works out well the study plan is most important thing you should have different area and what is your weaker area agree yes if you analyze that thing then it's very easy to just crack the pt exam it's all about the strategies implementing the right strategy at right moment in the right questions i agree totally not creating the way of uh, attempting the and just working with english language that's the only thing which is needed for pt exams sure I would totally agree. Any, yeah, sorry. So, is there any other uh, exams which you have given apart from PT exams? Uh, my next attempt is for my GMAT. I think uh, mm -hmm. now that PT tutorials is not subscribed to GMAT, <laughs> but I'll let you know how I do with that. Yeah, but I'm sure it it's turning out to well uh, as I progress over these months. Uh, so yeah, I hope it works out well as well. Great, great. So, for which visa type you are applying for? Uh, I have uh, applied for my PR. I'm also applying for my uh, student visa as well. So, my PR is already through in the terms of the EOI has been expressed since my wife is there. And coming going forward, I'm also applying for my MBA programs. Okay, great, great. And apart from that thing, what is the one last tip which you will just like to give to the students who are just giving their exams in next five days or in a week? What is the best tip which you can give to them? I think uh, the certain aspects which uh, helps apart from the uh, study strategies and all is keeping yourself. I think the soft skills aspect. I think that is what basically keeps you uh, grounded. So if you could just do something for yourself uh, in terms of take out some time to do some yoga or meditation or something, I do that. I have been practicing so for for a long time. So that helps you overcome the anxiety, especially during this time. Uh, so I think yeah. the soft skill aspect, how you basically manage yourself uh, during the exam. Apart from that, I would say just uh, give the mock test. If, even if you have five days, give five. Uh, you know, uh, five days give your mock test. Last day you can okay. skip off. Uh, just so that you don't have anxieties building right. up, building up. Uh, and uh, uh, that would be all. Because five days, I think you are already done. <laughs> There's nothing more to prepare. Yeah. Okay. So, what was your, uh, you know, the exact thing in the exam center? What were you feeling like? Everyone is wearing the mask. And yeah. <laughs> yes, I think that was a little, uh, you know, tricky part. I would say, uh, finding out the location, and it was a lockdown period when I gave my exam in Bangalore. And okay. uh, so there are not many people on the streets. So you have to be careful. Uh, so it was a little tricky in terms of the anxiety that you face on the exam day. You have to wear your mask. You have to show the arrogance of the app. Uh, the the Pearson Center had very strict pro protocols implemented for that during the exam time. Uh, by the way, just uh, just to give you a uh, heads up. So the some of the Pearson centers, whenever you are uh, writing, they'll give you a rough sheet where you write on a marker. so you might so 
you might uh, the marker might not work if you have opened it for 20 seconds so just be careful of that i lost i think a question or two for that i did tell them so just be careful on that side uh, once you're writing keep the markers uh, closed up uh, so that is one thing apart from that i think yes you have to manage this it's like 3% to 5% of this anxiety might be there especially because you have to give your exam entirely wearing the masks uh, so you might be thinking that am i speaking too less am i is my voice audible in the mic or is am i speaking too loud uh, so these all things will be there which is okay for you to feel especially during this time uh, but trust me this works out well you just have to keep uh, you know once you start your exam just test your mic and all so it will it will be through so anything else people can reach out to me if at all they want yeah definitely so the few updates would be that first of all we should be wearing the mask throughout the exams yes that's for the speaking model definitely throughout the, the exams. entire exam actually yes in the, in the entire exam it would be a bit trickier for the speaking module but yes, we need absolutely. to manage it at any cost absolutely right? uh, the second thing would be that we should be just checking the audio and the microphone and the settings before the exams only the third would be that we should be just checking the marker is working or not yes. we should just uh, tip of the cap when it is not uh, no, no, used yes. right when we are just speaking the answer we should just tip of the cap and apart from that what was the center which which center you just gave the exams in bangalore i gave it at prestige atrium which is one of the best centers i think uh, because of people who have given before me i consulted them and prestige atrium was one of the most favored place there is a good parking space it's on the main road it's easy to find and uh, it's right the center pearson center is right in the ground floor so you don't have to climb anywhere and mm -hmm. so it's very very you know comfortable uh, giving reaching there and the way the exam is conducted uh, is is really good and i would suggest everybody to take that 10 minute break a lot of people don't take that i would suggest go walk off just refresh drink water and just chill off yeah it's important okay definitely thank you so much for letting us know the uh, exact way how you just prepared yourself and how you just gave the exams your journey in the entire pt exams thank you so much thank you alina take care yeah welcome bye bye bye